lesson, I'm going to show you how to go through setting up center tabs for a new custom center. In this particular use case, there is a, a separate uh, customization that I want to isolate in the NetSuite environment for the Camino Route Planner. So I'm building a custom center, which I'm assigning to a custom role. And then the custom center is going to have this custom navigation bar associated to it. And I've also go, gone ahead and, and modified the roles and permissions so that we restrict this particular role, Communal Route Planner Admin, to as few things as possible and really to everything that is directly involved into this solution. So we'll go ahead and go to the admin role temporarily here. And one of the first things you have to do is in order to set up your user roles. So we're going to go and, and uh, you won't be able to copy from a customized or, or be able to copy from an existing role because when you do so, it automatically defaults that center and it's not an editable field. So you do have to create it from scratch and click new. Now this can be a pain because you have to manually add a lot of information for the permissions, but it is a, a necessary step. So this first step would be to edit the center type. You'll notice that we have the center type, so before we even create this role, we have to set up the center type. So let's go to customization, centers and tabs, and this is where you're gonna be working out of the centers, tabs, categories, links. A center describes the, the whole setup as a whole, it's your top level. Tabs are these tabs at the top, Categories are these right here. So these are the different categories. And then links are where I'm at right now, how it says it centers and, it, and it's a link to that specific center setup list. So let's go ahead and go to centers. I'm gonna just go and click on the center that I already created. This is the only custom center in here. So we said Camino Route Planner, and we want to make sure that we label it so that it's labeled center, and that way we know when we're assigning it to the role what it is. Uh, also, best practice is when you have the ID, start with the underscore so that the prefix is automatically added. And then the labels, you're going to be adjusting shortly. The labels, uh, you, you can't copy from an existing center, so you'll have to create a new label for your new custom center for even existing things like, oh, like uh, customizations. So um, if we were to want to have it to be like uh, Camino Route Planner, Tasks, General, Documents, Customization, that's what we're defining right here. Uh, we're going to add these in shortly, but that gives you a general idea of the tabs. Within the tabs, let's say we wanted to duplicate the native for the admin, this dropdown. Then we would go into the tab for it and then start adding categories. Okay. So let's go back into the role. We would create the role and say something like custom role for, in our case, we described it Camino route planner admin again start with underscore Camino planner admin and the center type is going to be the new one that we selected now when you're going through each of these transactions it can take uh, and, and different permissions it can take a lot of time I'm going to go ahead and go to I've already gone through this so I'm going to show you what it looks like after it's been filled out So we'll go ahead and click edit on this. See how when I'm in edit mode, I'm unable to edit the center type. It's a similar way when you customize a role that you can't do that. So that's why we had to create it from scratch. We're defining it to the specific subsidiary here as well. Now, when we're looking at this particular role, this is all based on this entire feature for the Camino Route Planner is built with custom records, with SuiteScript, email templates, advanced PDFs. 
things of that nature. So there's really no reason why we have to select any of the native transactions here, um, at least at the moment. So we, we want to limit the ability to do uh, anything with transactions for this particular role. Same with reports. Because we're not using a lot of the, the functionality for the, the core fu native functionality for this customization, then there's no reason why we need to have reports that are based off of those native fields. Now, these last couple pieces are where you start needing to get a little bit more. Uh, the lists, these are all the, the lists that I've determined at the moment are needed, or some of them are maybe less needed. In general, if I'm gonna need them at all, I'm gonna put access level to full, so they have the ability to create, edit, view, all of that information. There uh, are some like this one where there's only one option to view. In this setup, this is going to be where a majority of that customization tab is. Because this is a customization that has an integration and, and I want to be able to make modifications to the role and edit that the solution and maybe create additional enhancements, this entire customization tab I see as necessary. So what I've done is made sure that each of those elements from that customization tab are included. However, I did exclude, so if we go to list record fields, transaction line items, anything related to transaction item fields, CRM fields, are not needed because those are for native functionality. Uh, so like an item field would be a native item, CRM would be based on the native customer records, transactions, like I said, we don't use those right now for this particular solution. Uh, for his forms, we're going to want everything here, and so on. So it's kind of one by one, going through each one, deciding what is necessary, and then what we'll probably do is slowly remove some of these uh, permissions later on if we decide that they're no longer needed for the, the near future. On the custom record, we've created customer records, or custom records. We need to make sure we show those and make them available for full access. Uh, in, in addition to that, we want to, there's some other solutions that we've built that exist, and we want to make those available for this as well. So then we would, we would save this, and um, oh, uh, a couple other n notes here. Um, we'll edit the forms later on, and this describes specific users that have been assigned this, NetSuite employees. Uh, or, or NetSuite employee records that have been assigned this role. Um, I did say that the standard theme preference is this color theme, mostly to have a distinction between toggling between the roles. I currently do, don't have a published dashboard, but there will be one in the near future as well, and then they will show up here. I do want to make a note of one particular thing here in case you forget it. This published search, that's the global search bar up here. So if you don't have published publish search available, then um, you aren't, won't even see the global search bar in, across the NetSuite account. All right. So at, that, at this point, we've determined we've set up the custom role and assigned the custom center. Now. When we looked at the custom center, we saw that currently to date right now what I have set up are these tabs. There's these five tabs, plus I have a, the activities tab that gets added automatically. And, um, and then also within a couple of these, like the customization tab, I've already defined the categories. And then within the categories, let's go into the center tab categories for list records fields. So we'll, let's look for the center type Camino route planner. Let's look for list records fields. I think it's this line right here, right? Let's go ahead and edit and or view this and then maybe edit. And you'll notice that the categories that I listed underneath of here is this list field, this record types, entity fields. I didn't want transaction, remember? I skipped all of these pieces item number fields, and I threw in uh, record fields, and I could if I wanted to throw in custom help for standard fields. In fact, 
Let's go ahead and do that and edit this category. Let's see what it's called. I like to be in the admin role when I'm defining and matching it because I like to match the navigation bar to the, the admin classic center as much as possible. It just helps with navigation and being getting having some uniformity across some of these roles still. So it's here and then custom help for standard fields. Now this probably isn't really necessary because there's not really standard fields. But, but if I wanted to do it, click it, click add, I'm gonna click save. All right. Now finally, there are these center links. Well, these are more for custom links. So if I wanted to link to a specific URL, in this case, it's a, the URL of a sweet script. Um, I'm going to be putting these on the Camino Route Planner role, similar to what I've done here. And this is just a quick shortcut to everything that the, the solution has been built around. And then all the rest of it is for management of adding enhancements and uh, basic navigation. But what I wanted to do is create a, a tab with a category with all the solutions built inside of it as a quick way to navigate. And in order to have these options where it's the category here and then all the links, we have to create the links here and the custom center links. Now let's go to the tab to see how those get added to the tab or the category, sorry. So remember, tab, category, links. So if we go to this category, uh, it's currently in the classic center, so I have to recreate this for the Camino Route Planner Center, but these are all those links that got defined. In order for you to add them to the center category, they do have to be at the center link defined. So these are going to be custom links, right, that are more specific. If you wanted to link just to this native tab or uh, this native um, center link right here for lists, that'll be available when you search for it. All right, let's go ahead and toggle to the role. Now that you've seen everything and you'll see the current state of it and, and what's still left to do. We'll see that this defaulted to this Yale color, this blue color. I don't have a dashboard published at all yet and I just made it blank for now. I do have that order right here. The, these right here, the sweet apps, these are permissions that get added. That's why they show up here. Same with activities. But if you remember, we had five, five different tabs that we created. This one, the tasks, general, documents, customization, and I already had created some of these categories and added them in. And what I need to do now is to go back and create this category because I have it assigned to the Classic Center at the moment rather than this Camino Route Planner Custom Center and I need to go update each of these to match all the you know, different links I want for this specific role that I feel that are necessary. And that's a quick demo and uh, hopefully you'll be able to get through and figure out what you need to do from there. I do recommend publishing a dashboard once everything is set up how you want for that specific role. At least some basic safe search for content management and and just managing the solution that this role is built around.